Yoshi's Woolly World is surely a contender for the cutest game ever made. Dozens of knitted dinosaurs inhabit an island crafted from felt, foam, cotton wool and sequins. While Nintendo has already played with this style before, in 2010's Kirby's Epic Yarn, Woolly World does a much better job of exploring its potential. It's always a pleasant adventure, with interesting mechanics dotted about, and occasionally it pulls it all together and creates some really great levels, which feel specifically designed around Yoshi, and those make it worth playing. This arts and crafts ecosystem is a mellow and idyllic world in which to spend 10 or so hours. The colours are rich and vibrant, the textures are great, and it's got some ridiculously catchy tunes. It all has an endearing, handmade finish, with plenty of exposed stitching and loose threads on show. The textile concept is really sold by those small, wonderful details. Shy guys are armed with crochet hooks ready to unpick their enemies. A soft halo of fuzz surrounding knitted characters catches the light as they move. Yoshi himself, being made of thread, unravels and recombines in subtle ways to suit his environment. There are so many touches like this, and noticing them made me grin until the very end. Sometimes the yarn aesthetic does more than charm, creating levels and types of gameplay that could only exist within the logic of this world. And they're challenging, even when you factor in Yoshi's forgiving hover jump and long range attacks. A brilliant boo level makes hover jump essential, allowing you to take jumps off into the unknown and sometimes by precious seconds until safe ground materialises. It no longer feels like a cheat, since the circumstances demand it be used with precision and skill. Woolly World doesn't consistently reach those heights, but there's still plenty of fun and inventive variety to play around with in its less memorable levels. You can throw baby chickens to create temporary clouds of cotton wool, or slide through jungles leaping between curtains. And there are all too brief fantasy interludes, in which Yoshi transforms into a motorcycle or an umbrella. Why is there not more of this? I definitely could have done without the monotonous mid and end stage boss battles, which all end up feeling like variations of each other. You can zip through levels in a few minutes, but there's a multitude of collectibles inviting you to go back. However, the only ones I found myself really interested in were the wool and daisies, as they unlock cool and weird Yoshi skins and even better, special stages. These levels tend to be some of the strongest, so it's a shame you have to find every daisy to unlock them, which in truth is a bit of a slog. There's a handful of really great levels in Yoshi's Woolly World, which makes the most of its beautifully tactile setting and choice of character. The world is incredibly familiar for Yoshi fans, but the imaginative and attractive art style make it feel fresh and appealing. Yet outside of those great few levels that test your skill, Woolly World is a more forgettable and fragmented experience. Cool mechanics are thrown in, but they're dropped into levels which never realise their full potential and fixate more on unearthing frustrating collectibles. For more on Yoshi, stick with IGN.